What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to the Beat of Business with me, Ravi Wadden. These days, it seems like there is so much noise surrounding electric vehicles. It seems like just about every day, a different company grabs the headlines of news outlets around the world because they are a sure thing to be the next Tesla. Now, many of these companies either won't make it to a production line or they will make the production line and inevitably fail. But that's okay because failing is a part of business and when you are a part of an industry as competitive as the automotive industry, failing is more common than you think. Today, we're gonna to be talking about a company that I've been following for a couple of years now, off and on. The company is an electric vehicle startup that goes by the name of Rivian. And Bloomberg is reporting that Rivian is looking to go public as soon as September at a valuation of about $50 billion or more. To put that valuation in perspective at IPO, Rivian would be valued more than Ford is today. Ford's current market cap is about $47 billion. Oh my God. So let me get this straight. A startup electric car company that hasn't officially delivered a car is worth more than Ford. A 117 year old company that employs 190,000 people globally and not to mention actually builds and sells an electric car that you can buy today. But if you follow the stock market, you already know that companies like Tesla, companies like Neo, Lee Motors, and Blink Charging have had incredible runs in their respective share prices over the past year or so. So as shocking as Rivian's valuation seems, it's not surprising considering similar valuations can be found in the broader market. The good news is that Ford already has a stake in Rivian from when it invested $500 million into the company back in April of 2019. Not only that, Amazon has also publicly backed the company by ordering 100,000 of its electric vans as part of Amazon's climate pledge. The climate pledge is a commitment from Amazon to be net zero carbon across their business by 2040, 10 years ahead of the Paris Agreement. And if you haven't already, please make sure to hit that like button for the YouTube algorithm. And if you've missed any of my previous videos, please go to my YouTube channel or you can go to my website, thebeatofbusiness.com. All right, back to Rivian. Just last month, during its latest funding round, Rivian was valued at $27.6 billion. As I said earlier, they are planning on a September IPO, but anything can happen from now until then. Rivian is one of the highest profile potential competitors to Tesla and has raised more than $8 billion to date from investors who expect its battery electric pickup and SUV to perform well in the US market. At a $50 billion IPO valuation, it would likely be one of the biggest IPOs of the year and one of the most noteworthy EV listings since Tesla in 2010. If market sentiment and market trends stay the same, I would not be surprised at all if Rivian is able to increase their valuation to 60 to $70 billion range by the end of the year. Many investors, myself included, are really bullish on electric vehicles and the return potential that they offer in the long term. As I've said before, the automotive market is in a super cycle and is transforming now more than it has in its 100 plus year history. In my video from a couple of days ago, I spoke about Apple's potential foray into the EV market. My argument was that there won't be a better time for Apple to get into the automotive industry. The transformation that's taking place provides a great opportunity for first time market entrants to grab a piece of the pie. And if Apple's execution on the automotive side is anything like they've done in the past with phones and computers, they will find success. For me, Rivian has a lot of potential. Of all of the EV startups out there, Rivian is arguably the most promising. And please don't think of Rivian as a concept company. I wanna emphasize that because a lot of the electric vehicle startups that are entering the market today are concept companies that have not produced or delivered a product to a customer. You know, while these companies may seem enticing as an investor, they also come with a lot of risk. So beware of the concept companies that are relying purely on speculation for their valuations. Now, Rivian is not one of those companies. They have legitimate funding, a legitimate factory, they have legitimate products, and legitimate employees. 
I took a trip to their website and I was pleasantly surprised. I guess I didn't really realize how far along they have come. Uh, I'd encourage everyone to take a trip to their website to get yourself more familiar with the company. Along with detailed looks into their assembly plants, they also showcase their products in real world situations. Along with footage of real world testing of their electric delivery van being built for Amazon, they also showcase their R1T truck which successfully completed the Rebel Rally. In this rally, the R1T navigated 2,000 kilometers of rough, unforgiving terrain in the deserts of Nevada over the course of eight days. I'm liking what I see from Rivian. They are marketing themselves as an electric adventure vehicle. They have two models, the R1T and the R1S, and depending on how you configure the cars, you are looking at prices ranging from about $67,500 to about $77,500. Initially, the cars will come with a 300 plus mile range, but according to their website, you will be able to configure the cars with 400 plus miles by early 2022. And these cars are not concept cars. What you see in these pictures is what the car will actually look like. In fact, if you are interested in purchasing a Rivian, you can reserve your configuration by placing a $1,000 refundable deposit on their website right now. So let's share some final thoughts. Now I know that everyone wants to compare everything to Tesla, and that's actually fair because Tesla is the benchmark in the segment. They are the benchmark in terms of the product, and they are the benchmark in terms of the infrastructure that they've created to support the product. So if you are in love with electric vehicles, but you don't want a Tesla, then I think Rivian has a compelling product for you to consider. I think they've done a great job of creating a niche product that will attract a different type of customer. For one, the product looks great and that is important. It also has all of the safety and autonomous driving features that consumers are looking for. And last but not least, it has a performance that makes people like me want to own one. I mean, who doesn't want a truck or SUV that does zero to 60 in three seconds? So I'm not surprised that during their last funding round last month, Rivian was valued at $27.6 billion. I mean, barring any major macroeconomic events, I think their valuation is validated and will hold. As an investor, I would love to add Rivian to my portfolio as a long-term holding. I like their leadership, I like their existing investors, I like their products, and I like their vision. For me, that's a win-win and that's the type of companies I like to invest in. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and if you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe and please hit that like button for the YouTube algorithm. Thank you for watching and I hope you learned something new today.